Dolly. Shall we tuck her in here with you? Get her comfortable? Now, I'm gonna get Dolly a prettier necklace than the one she had before. Is that okay with you? Yeah? I'll make her the most beautiful necklace you've ever seen in the world. And it can be our little secret. Please don't cry. My father is too beautiful to cry. He's been nice to you. If there's one thing I didn't want, it was to hurt you, I'm sorry. It's not you. It's... I should never have responded to Jake the way I did. It would have been hard not to. But I should never have hit him back. Ian, it's not your fault. He hit you first. Exactly. And it should have stopped there. Look, ever since I've known him, he's had a ferocious temper. I can understand why concerning you. Still, he shouldn't have misread things the way he did. He just can't ever trust me. But you're completely honorable. <sighs> Tell that to the Marines. Excuse me? Jake is very hard-headed. He has to believe the worst about people. Certainly about me. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> Stop, please. Don't. I couldn't help it. Ian, you promised you weren't going to do anything like that again. The moonlight is too powerful and you're far too beautiful. Stop it! I am only human. And you are irresistible. You know you are. You feel what's happening between us, Paulina. Don't you dare tell me how I'm feeling. Is that why you hit me? Because you feel nothing? Look, you have no idea what I'm going through, and you have no idea how much I love Jake. I know what I see in your eyes. You're an arrogant fool. Maybe so. But you're still drawn to me. There's no way I could ever be interested in you. I don't even know you, and I sure as hell don't trust you. Hilda, it's Ian. Yeah. Has Paulina gone to work yet? No, no, that's fine. Yeah, no message, thank you. I thought I told you not to come here. Oh, but you'll be glad I did. 
In fact, he'll be so grateful to give me flowers. Please, put those down. I'm serious, Ian. <laughs> I have something that you wanted for you that very I want. long. Well, if I told you, it would bring the surprise. I should never have let you in here. I owe you, Ian. You gave me money for a place to stay You last can night. pay me back by no, staying don't, away. Don't, don't. Look, half of baby you caught is looking for you. All right? What if they call the police? They won't. Dean promised. Look, I don't need you here right now. Yes, you do. Besides, if you didn't want me here, you would have fixed the hole in the fence. I haven't had time. Right. So, are you still wanting to get into Ryan Harrison's apartment? Hey, hey, you leave, leave, those al leave those alone. Well, where'd you get the second one? Ryan? <laughs> no, 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 no. Corey's. I knew it. There must be three keys. And you have to get the third one from Ryan, right? Stay out of this. What if I were to tell you that, uh, I could get us into Ryan's apartment today? Right now, this very second. First, tell me what this is all about. Why are these keys so important? What do they unlock? What's the big secret, Ian? Why are the keys so important, Ian? I can't tell you. Why? If I'm going to get us into Ryan's apartment, don't you think I should know why we're breaking and entering? Is that your plan? First, tell me yours. I haven't got one. Listen, I promise I won't tell a soul, Ian. I haven't kept your secret this long, haven't I? That's because you have more to lose than I do. Do you want me to tell everyone where you came from? You wouldn't do that to me. We've been together far too long. This is not a game, Joy. I've been here too long as it is. I need to get that key and get out of here. Do the police know about this? No. Not unless they come looking for you. What are the keys unlocked? Some long-lost buried treasure? <laughs> you read too many comic books. No, I know. I know there are keys to three different de safety deposit boxes, right? And uh, each one has a piece of a map inside. And when you put the map together, it, it leads to what? A gold mine? No. Diamonds. Or a, a, a cache of guns and bombs. <gasps> Are you a soldier of fortune or what? Excuse me, boy. Why won't you tell me? Because I can't. Jeez, after all this time, I thought we could trust each other. In this world, you can trust nobody but yourself. The sooner you learn that, the better. <sighs> You really need someone to believe in. I need to get into Ryan Harrison's apartment. I know. That's why I'm here. You're not the only one with keys, you know. What's that for? Hmm. I don't know if I should tell you. You want me to tell the you Corey's here? <sighs> okay. It's the key to Ryan Harrison's apartment. How'd you get it? <sighs> First, promise me that I can go with you. To me. I swiped him. You what? I swiped him. I told him I was a botany student at BCU and I was looking for work tending houseplants. I got his attention by pointing out that sick looking jasmine. Eucalyptus, thing. eucalyptus. Yeah, well, he got his hands in the soil. I got my hands on Ryan's keys. They were uh, behind the wall box. And what if he finds out they're missing, huh? Well, he won't because I put other keys in the slot. See, by the time they figure it out, we'll be long gone. Not if we don't find what we're looking for. Well, it's got to be here someplace. Oh, shit. I thought I heard someone coming. Did the doorman tell you when Ryan was coming back? No, he said he wasn't sure. He may not have too much time. We have to find the case. And you go look in the bedroom.
Did you find anything? No, it's definitely not in the bedroom. Are you sure Ryan has it? Listen, Carl Hutchins, Ryan Harrison's father, had the key years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, he must have made arrangements for his son to get it somehow. What if we can't find it? We have to find it. What if Ryan's walking around with it? Listen, stop asking so many questions, all right? I'm just trying to help. Outside, in the hallway, there's a storage closet. Right. All right? Now, take this key, see if it fits. If it does, search the closet, okay? I'll look over here. Wait a minute, I already told you there's nothing... Go and search the closet. <sighs> Is Ryan here? Uh, no, no, no. He's, he's out. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for my daughter, Victoria. She's blonde and blue eyed. No, I, ha I haven't black. seen her. Sorry. You look vaguely familiar. Are you one of Ryan's new friends? No, no. I'm the, the guarding service. Uh, houseplants? He doesn't have any houseplants. What's going on here? Why would Ryan hire a gardening consultant if there aren't any house plants? Oh, uh, uh, and you certainly don't look like you're an employee of a gardening service. You look very familiar, as a matter of fact. Don't you work at the Espresso Bar downtown? Uh, yes, yes, I do. And how did you get in here? Uh, how did well, you get in here? I'm um, calling the police. Oh! oh! Oh, my goodness. I know you. You work for Rachel Corey. I know you. You're Rachel's groundskeeper. Yes, Ian Ryan. But I don't just work for the Corey. Oh, really? Please. Thank you. I hope you won't betray me to my employer. I found I needed some extra income. Oh, don't we all? So I got a job as a gardening consultant. But it won't interfere with any of my duties at the Corey home. Aren't you a little overqualified for watering plants? Well, actually, this one's going to be a little bit different. Well, I should hope so, since there aren't any plants here. <laughs> that is about to change since Ryan has asked me to design a green scheme for him. Green scheme? Yes, we assess the space, the quality of air, the quantity of light to see which plants will thrive in here. Oh. And this one, does she possess your knowledge of air and light and horticulture? This one is my very able assistant. And we were in the middle of assessing the place when you came in. Well, the place could certainly use some improvement with plants. I love growing things, too. Really? <laughs> yes. And, of course, we all know what a tightwad Rachel is with her money. I actually could use a little advice on my flowering plants. Well, I'd be more than happy to help you. Oh, that's lovely, because my peonies came in late this year, and I've been longing to talk to someone about it. Maybe you could call me. We could set up an appointment. Most certainly. Do you have a business card you could give yes, me? Yes, I absolutely do. Right here. Wonderful. Oh, I almost forgot why I was here. If either of you see my daughter, Victoria, or Ryan, please have them call me. It's urgent. Certainly Immediately. Will. Yes, Thank I will let so them much. know as please, soon as I see them. Please call me. We'll set up an, an appointment. That'd be great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Boy, can you spin him? I'm totally impressed. Quiet. What? Relax. She totally bought your story. For what? An hour? That is not a gullible woman. Oh, come on. Take it easy. How can I take it easy? My cover has just been blown. Damn it. We have no time to waste. That story I told Donna won't last more than a few hours. It was a great story. Why should she question it? Women like that live for curiosity. She'll question it. Uh, no, I, listen, you got to her. I don't think we're going to have a problem. Listen, we are running out of time. As soon as Ryan finds out we're here, he'll blow us out of the water. We need to find that third key. I don't think it's here. Where else could it be? Well, it has to be somewhere in Bay City. Everywhere I look leads to a dead end. I'm really stumped about this key, huh? It has to be in Bay City. Why? Because everything has led me here. The two people from the... Never mind. We're running out of time. Things are closing in. Well, two heads are better than one. I say that we just stay here and look for it until we find it. No. Mm -hmm. I say that you go home to your father and get out of this mess. I just want to help. Listen, it's too dangerous. You're in trouble already. I don't want you getting any more involved. Listen, I don't know what difference it makes. I'm into my ears. Exactly, and I shouldn't have let that happen. Besides, I'll be going underground from now on. Well, take me with you. I mean, I'm smart, I'm quick. I already proved that to you. No. <laughs> Listen, we haven't got time to argue, okay? We have to get out of here. Come on. Okay, I'm right down. Let's go. I said no. The second we walk outside that door, 
Each of us are on our own. Okay? Let's go.